Should men under the age of 35 be married? Absolutely not. Let's get into it. It's Amber J. Lee. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's learn, pretty girls. And also, while you're here, just follow my Instagram as I also post updates. So, recently, this video has gone viral. I'm ever going to get married for real. Can't fuck the same pussy every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. I can't get a chance to miss you. I want to know if other people was like that. In the comments, let me know if y'all feel the same way. I don't know if I'm the only nigga that's like that. I can't fuck the same pussy every day. No matter how good it is, after a while, I'm not even going to get hard no more. I need something new. And this person who's saying this, he's 32 years old. And believe it or not, a lot of guys, especially in this day and age where sex is just so easy to get, it's so easy to hide things from people. It's so easy to have a side piece. Everybody is just so sexually open. Monogamy is not really a thing anymore. It's starting to become a thing in the past. I believe that the average man thinks this way. I feel like before the man reaches 35, he has not gotten his whole phase. He has not reached his maximum potential. He has not explored. He has not been around enough. He has not been in between at least 40 women's legs. So therefore, if you marry somebody under the age of 35, be prepared to share him and allow other women to dibble and dabble in your marriage. Um, even though that's probably gonna happen anyway, every now and then, but be okay with it happening more consistent. Woman emotionally matures 100% at 32 years old. This is why I'm a firm believer of women should always date a man at least seven years old. Always seven years minimum. For me, the oldest I would date is 15 to 20 years. The guy I'm dating now, the anesthesiologist. The only time a woman should date a man or marry a man her age is if he's like 39 and she's like 42. Or if he's like 42 and she's like 39. Or like, like my mom and my dad are about a year apart. But the relationship was rocky up until they got in their like 40s. That's when it was like stable. And I'm just like, mom, you should have married him once he got stable at 35 like why did you marry him because my mom and my dad got married at 25 i was just like okay whatever but you need to marry somebody ladies who are who's emotionally mature when you're emotionally mature so if you're 32 you should be looking at someone 45 my opinion since they aren't emotionally mature they aren't able to see how non-monogamous if you promise monogamy would hurt a woman like they can't fully grasp that concept yet especially since they gotten since they haven't gotten their sexual urges out and haven't got all their sexual desires filled they don't really understand why this is not okay like they know that she doesn't like this but they really don't grasp as to why as to how women think differently from men they can't grasp that yet so it's just like why waste your time explaining something that they just clearly won't get only time i can see a woman marrying somebody under the age of 27, that's a man as if he's rich, like Kyrie Irving status. He's under 35, um, Draymond Green type. Like he's under 35. I can just see somebody saying, I'm gonna lock this down. But at the average guy, go for somebody older. Bottom line, everybody wants a provider. Everybody wants a certain type of man. If you're marrying a provider, a uh, uh, Steph Curry or something like that, who's under the age of 35, be prepared to share them. Be prepared to share them. Be prepared to everybody wanting to sleep with them. And just be prepared of you just being a wife and taking care of the house. Because men under the age of 35, monogamy is not in their vocabulary. Monogamy for you, monogamy for the woman, but monogamy for him is not in vocabulary. But that's just me. Um, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.